state's top education official says he's sending all six of his children back to brick and mortar schools next month, but says families need to have options. Those remarks from Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran came during a roundtable hosted today by Governor Ron DeSantis. News for Jack supporter Joe McLean is live in the newsroom tonight. And Joe, the commissioner also defended that emergency order that school must reopen five days a week. He did. He said it was about making sure that school districts have the flexibility and the freedom to give families options while also keeping their funding. Still, though, that order, as we've been reporting, has led to multiple lawsuits and backlash from teachers and staff. And we wanted everyone to have that flexibility, to have that opportunity. Today, Governor DeSantis and his education commissioner, Richard Corcoran, sitting down with parents and administrators in Clearwater. It comes just weeks ahead of classroom doors opening for the first time since mid-March when COVID-19 forced a statewide closure. The debate rages on over Corcoran's order that all districts provide an in-person learning option to all students five days a week. An option, Corcoran said, will be favored by most families. 60 plus to 90 percent, uh, most are going to choose face to face um, throughout our whole state. The Republican governor recited his stance that the state provide families much needed options, again saying that distance learning is subpar. Many students will suffer academic and physical and mental health consequences if they're not able to get back into the classroom. Uh, I think that that's already happened. Corcoran's order sparked multiple lawsuits, which called the move dangerous and deadly. But the commissioner said the order effectively opened the door for districts to have their own power to make their own decisions and not lose funding under the law. That's why we did the emergency order in an emergency situation to overcome existing law that didn't give them that flexibility, didn't give them that choice. Also, in just the last couple of hours, the Florida Department of Education announced it has now approved several more school district reopening plans, including those of Clay County and Putnam County in Northeast Florida. Duval County's, meanwhile, has not yet been approved by the department. So for those families in Duval County, they're going to need a chance tomorrow to have more of the questions answered. And that's directly from the superintendent, Diana Green, and other district leaders. They will. Yeah, tomorrow morning at 11 a.m., we are hosting a virtual town hall for our News for Jacks insiders. Anchor Bruce Hamilton and myself are going to sit down with Dr. Green, Duval Teachers United President uh, uh, Terry Brady, and Rebecca Cardona, the uh, who represents the local bus drivers union. Insiders are going to be able to participate live and uh, submit their questions to the panelists. Again, that is at 11 a.m. tomorrow.